best cars from your untimely departure. <laughs> Keep watching Magical GH. We pray in the name of Jesus and we declare that the will of the Lord as it is in heaven is established upon this place in the mighty name of Jesus. His will is established in the whole atmosphere. His perfect will is come throughout this program in the mighty name of Jesus.
was pitiable. But now Christ is risen from the dead and has become the first fruit of those who have fallen asleep. Rafa, your name still echoes in my heart with warmth and melody. Reflecting on our shared years of bliss, I find solace in precious memories of your laughter, wisdom, and the love that defined us. You were more than a husband. You were my confidence, my guide, and the source of irreplaceable love. Rafa, my love, my heart bears scars from your untimely departure, but I'm grateful for the time we had. Until we reunite, your memory is my solace and your love my eternal guide. Sleep well, my Rafa. Oh, that's very short. That is sleep well, my yeah, Rafa. Very brief, brief. Oh, cinema. Welcome. Hey. And Andiamo di là o subito? Subito. Subito.
Flowers in the Mumekis, you said, Modinina Akaho. I was your Flowers in the Royal Sickest Pan, my Cadra, and my Pigeon Munu Adama Munfa, a new Inja Raphael, Udamna, the Mix, Asita, and Sana Wako. The rare seekers, seekers, seekers. Yoko.
person we are celebrating today. So for me, it's a celebration of life. And so that is the reason why we must uh, push the agenda that he carried, which is the message of Jesus Christ to every young person out there, so that they will live like him. If you knew Raphael personally, he was, he was, he was, he was a gem. He was somebody to behold. He was really a saint of the Lord Jesus Christ. He never meant no harm to anybody. That is the sort of person that he was. Um, he was a kind-hearted man, honestly. I was testifying about him that, um, you know, sometimes an issue will come and then um, this guy has actually distributed all, all his salaries to the football um, colleagues of his that have come to the team that are not yet playing and receiving salary. He will share his, his salary every weekend. Um, I'm told he will go and do um, some food um, and party with them so that they can eat and then share his things. And if if you know where this guy lived and did all these things, that he, did, I'm sure, I'm sure he, sure he lived for Jesus. No, there are those who rightly have questioned the place of faith and his religion in his life, especially when medical advice suggested that he perhaps ought to be full time, but in exercise of his faith, he persevered as his spiritual guide where do sportsmen draw the line between the exercise of their faith and respect for medical counseling you know Raphael was somebody who even told his doctor after they checked you know the I think that people do not have the depth of the information for me what I know about him when he sat before me several times and we talked was that they check his heart they don't see nothing all right and so there's a device on his heart that when his temperature rises as a footballer you run at least your heart will rise to a point and then the device will give him a shock and that was why we saw him always uh, in a shock on the football field and he said it was actually weakening his life and he didn't like it it was actually so he went to several doctors and some of them also advised against you know there are several opinions scientific opinions so i know that people who have this information will tell you the truth and the honest truth so i think that was the reason why he made them remove it and then um, because so it was he had not, medical advice to remove the implants i'm sure because um, as for us we advised him because he was already a man of god one of the things he told me was that prophet i want to play football and when i score a goal and the media comes around me and they ask me what is the secret i will tell them about jesus so he said he will use the platform to preach jesus the last days of his life so somebody like that you know he was really convicted about jesus and so his faith was his faith that's it as where do you draw the line and you advise the footballers between the exercise of one's faith and adhering to medical counseling? This is a very dangerous line. As you tread on, uh, at, the, at the end, it's about one's faith. I believe in the Almighty God. I wish I could preach the gospel just like the Randall. It was about 18 years. I think that everybody on earth has a right to take their own decisions. And, 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 and I hope that whatever decisions we take, we give it a good thought and make sure that just make their decisions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. of your school has been served Ghana Jesus Christ. Unfortunately, uh, we lost him. Um, he's always been known as a very dedicated man, very dedicated towards football guys, and to football most importantly, and to, and to humanity. So it's a sad moment for the Ghanaian team, especially coming not too long after we had lost uh, uh, Mr. Um So it's a moment for all of us again to reflect on our lives, to reflect on our sport, on football, and what we do with our lives and our performance. Thank you.